I just moved 46 birds over wild and crazy terrain all by myself. All right, chore time. Jonah's got Mr. Brown on his back. <laughs> Mr. Brown's loving it. <laughs> Hanging on. Hanging on. Woo, I can tell it's cold out here just by looking at it. Woo. It's going to frost any day now. Hey, buddy, what? I want you to move the turkeys this morning first. Or not move the turkeys, but let them out. Okay. Can you move their A-frame? Because mm -hmm. it needs to be moved back. Okay, listen. And then come talk to me before you do the chickens because I'm moving them. Okay. That's right. It's moving day for the chickens. They've done a wonderful job here. It's time to move them out. Do another good job on the old crop garden. And we'll transplant our winter harvest garden in here. Look at him watching me. Oh no, look what happened to this hibiscus bush. It has completely fell over and this is like our most productive one. This one's falling over too, I think. What's the deal? I didn't know you had to stake hibiscus bushes. All right, now we've got the stakes off of it, the corners. Now we roll up the fence. Well, fold up the fence. open so that we can get the chick shawl in there. That was much better. Hey, I didn't hit the camera this time on the edge. Well, I need to put some corner posts in down there. It just so happened that the fence posts weren't where we need a corner. So that's what these plastic corner posts are for, great for. Let's, uh, straight, let's straighten up this corner. Give it some support. In this corner, we gotta add a corner where there is none. And hopefully not trip over the uh, electric poultry net. What is that? Frost. Look at that. There's a little bit of frost right here. So it has happened. It's right there. Oh yeah, if you don't believe it's frosted now, you can see it now. Now to get the chick shawl down there. Can't just go down this with it. It's too heavy, it'd run me over. I'm gonna have to go through here, even though it's pretty wild and wooly. Stay right of this tree, left of this garden, go down through there, and back, I'll have to move that fence. But I've definitely had a tougher situation, so I think this can be done. Hey, now wait a minute, I see what you've done. You put the feeders on there. You gonna make me carry the feeders, you, you little rascal? You gonna make me, you're no dummy. Okay, put the water on there too. Hope, what happened? Hey, should we put the pile on there too while we're at it? Maybe. Yeah, well I make two trips. Well, it'd probably slide around on that roof. I better not put the pallet on there. Woo! You guys are heavy adding the extra birds in there. Close this fence up and let them out. Yes, I am out of breath. Yes, that was he heavy. How many chickens were in that thing? Yes, no way would there be any way, other way to move this many birds over wild and crazy terrain without this chick shawl. But I'm so curious, how many are there? How many birds are in here? 
Come on out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six. Forty-six of those guys in that area. And yes, they have plenty of room. At night, they still have room, guys. They like to crowd in together. You guys enjoy this? Ooh, I love to watch them enjoy it. We're feeding them less feed today because there's plenty of feed in here. You guys want to see it all? There's tomatoes, there's clover, there's garlic, there's old squashes, there's, uh, there's hairy vetch, there's rye. There's gonna be buckwheat seeds from uh, the buckwheat plants. There's not much. Moisture in this, so I'm gonna forego the pans and spread it on the ground. That, they like eating off the ground better anyway, and it encourages them to scratch and work this. It'll, they'll work it a bit faster than they normally would. And I was able to cut their feed by about 25% today, because I know there's plenty of food in here. All right, got their water, got their feed, got them moved. I do like their electricity, but I gotta go in. Woo! Look what he got for breakfast. That is some Swiss chard, man. Mama, this we've had our break-in fires. Break-in fires are where we have little fires just to warm this bad boy up. And now we can have a real fire on this frosty morning. You know it frosted this morning? I uh, know, just Jonah told me. October 10th, just on schedule. Yep. And you are a master fire builder. Good job. Thanks. Whoa! I don't know if I've seen Swiss chard that big. Hey, Lily, I don't think you've got the memo. It's frosty out there. You ready to go swimming? Yeah. Jonah has cut up the Swiss chard, washed it, cut it, washed it again, and now he's frying it. Good job, buddy. The little chiddlers have found the sweet spot. Good job, guys. Ooh, getting warm, 600. You remember that awesome drone footage the other day? Yeah, it was awesome, but I noticed when we were uploading it, and of course when it got up to YouTube, it was a little shaky. There was a little bit of vibration. Whoa, my gosh, what are you saying? Oh, you're saying drone. Let me see this outfit, though. Let me see this. <laughs> Is this a jumper? Oh, my gosh, that's the cutest outfit I've ever seen. Anyway, back to the story. Um, somebody said it was because the blades need balancing, but I called DJI about that because that seemed kind of crazy since this is brand new, and it's quite the process to balance blades, and they thought the memory card needed to format it. So we're going to try it. Right now, we formatted our memory card. Even if it's new, you gotta format the memory card. Hey, the boys have been interested in bow and arrows lately, so we just thought we'd splurge and just surprise them, show, us, show them our love and just support their interests as part of our learning philosophy. So, mom got them some bow and arrows when she was in town today, and they've just been having a good time. They've had, they had a good shot, Josiah. Good shot, Jonah. They had a bow and arrow, but it was just kinda Jerry, as I like to call it. Just wasn't working out that great. And these are much better. And look, look at the excitement and intensity. Whoa! Did you mean to hit the barn? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's stuck it in the barn. Hold on. <laughs> you got it right in the crack. I just went inside and looked at the footage. It looks great, right? It's totally smooth, yeah, right? It looks great. Okay, you got... I guess you could say we're crazy if you don't think it is, but I'm pretty sure it's smooth. Yeah. At least smooth enough, right? Yeah. What? Lily found a nest of eggs. Oh my. Oh my. They've been nesting There's out here. There's so many eggs in there. They've been nesting out here oh. for the like tomatoes. Oh gosh. Oh. Good job, Lily, finding the eggs. Okay, there you go. Thank you. 